Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Joseph Moore here, and I am bringing you week six of the PML draft. And this week, we have none other than the coach of the blade, Matt. And uh, Matt's team is fierce this season. Uh, he's he's one of the top teams. Uh, hopefully, we can knock him off and we can be one of the top teams. <clears throat> if we can knock him off. I know I said that. Um, I prepped a few days back. I don't remember what his team is, but I, I'll, I'll remember my game plan once we uh, look at his team here in prep. Uh, Matt's always a formidable opponent, so hopefully we can get the win. All right, so of course Komo O is a pain to deal with. Uh, Excadrill is going to be an issue to an extent. <clears throat> Um, I really hope I did not run Moonblast. Okay, good. So I'm going to lead Clefable here. Because I do not want to get <laughs> caught off guard by Komo'o. Um, this is about what I thought he would bring. Uh, Jealous into good mind for uh, Cinderace. Because Cinderace doesn't get much to hit it. And we'll just have to see how this goes. Good luck, have fun to Matt. And the battle is underway. I don't know what sound is playing. Let's see what he decides to lead. Galvantula. Predictable lead, but it wasn't sure. So he is going to get some uh, webs on the field, which is fine. I'm okay with that. We brought Court Change on Cinderace. So that's not too big of a deal to me. <clears throat> I could go Stealth Rocks, but I don't really want Stealth Rocks on my side. Once uh, I switch. So I'm going to go for the uh, Shadow Ball to break the stash. And let him pick a new move. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go... Uh, Needle King predicting an electric type move like Bolt Switch or something. And of course, we are Scarf, but we're going to get slowed down by the webs, so we're not going to be as speedy as we would like to be. And I'm predicting he'll hit. Does he switch? And if so, what does he switch to? He could go straight to Excadrill. Not too entirely sure. I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower. Flamethrower hits pretty much everything. Okay, he goes Jellicent, which is fine. <clears throat> Lethal Dose breaks the Air Balloon. Which, not sure why Jellicent had Air Balloon to begin with. Um, I'm going to go Motorhead here. Because we don't want uh, Needle King to get too much damage on it. <clears throat> so we get caught in the sticky web. He goes Scald. Okay, so I really think he'll go to uh, Excadrill here. And we're not too worried about losing uh, Cinderace. Because we're, he's mainly here to get the webs off our side. That's basically what he's doing. And we're heavy duty boots. So 
we won't get affected by the web so we'll throw out speed extra drill on the next turn to pyro ball hopefully or even high jump kick so we pull a double let's see if he makes the switch he does so he goes to probably extra drill he goes to tyranitar fair All right, so he gets Sandstorm, which kind of helps us, to be honest. Um, do I just go for low kick to kill this thing right out? I think I do. I'm going to go low kick. I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to go for the hit. If he goes back to Jellicent, that's fine. We'll just court change after. But if we get rid of Tyranitar, that'd be amazing. So he's really thinking of what he wants to do here, which draws Tyranitar, which is fine. He goes Kafrigus, which is even better. I mean, not better, because I mean we don't hit now, but it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're court changing, no matter what. So let's go ahead and go for the court change. I should have knew he was going to switch, but I mean, if any chance you can knock out a Tyranitar, what you do. And now we're normal type, so if he tries to uh, hit us with a normal move. Ooh, that's a beautiful animation. I don't think I've ever seen it. Alright, so he goes Calm Mind, which is fine because we're physical attacker. So now webs are on his side. And now we just hit. We just hit Pyro Ball. He could Dynamax. Don't think he does. Now it's good for Grigus. Honestly, maybe it was good for Grigus. Because I don't know what else he would have Dynamax instead. But we're going to go Pyro Ball. Change to our Fire Typing. And of course, go for Grigus. Avoid the attack. <clears throat> 90% chance to hit, and it doesn't. Okay, that could be scary, but it's not the end of the world. Go for Grigus. Still takes damage. Well, he gets health back from leftover. Hopefully, Powerball doesn't miss this time. It's not going to Oko, but it would do some good damage. Or not. That is very defensive, and he's still going for the Calm Mind. He might be Trick Room. That would be a problem. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Yoda... We're unaware. So I'm going to go Yoda here and start firing off uh, Shadow Balls because uh, Calm Minds mean nothing to Yoda. Goes for Protect for some reason. Interesting. Wonder if that was a misclick. Alright, I'm just going to go Shadow Ball here. And Shadow Ball does a good amount. He's going Toxic Spike. Very interesting play. I actually don't mind Toxic Spikes all that much. I have Needle King still. What is he doing? <clears throat> oh, okay. I see what he's doing now. He's going Leftovers to try to get uh, more, uh, more HP back. So that's fine. Unaware is still going to chip away at it, even though the Calm Minds are active. Uh, 
So let's see. Ooh, one more shadow bond. It goes down. Hex comes off, but we're not poisoned yet, so that only does neutral damage. And we reveal we are leftovers now, so we get uh, plenty of health back. <clears throat> okay. We just play it safe. Just go for the Shadow Ball. I mean, Clefable is here for um, Komo'o mostly with Unaware, but this is definitely helping out. Uh, good thing he was in Trick Room, though. That would have been a pain to deal with. So, Kofagrigus comes, goes down. Maybe he goes Tyranitar here. Maybe. He goes Galvantula. He's going to get webs up again. Which is fine now, because now it's like uh, we're evened out. So, not too worried about it. <clears throat> if he does, and then that means we can even get toxic spikes on his side. So I'm just going to go to lethal dose here. We soak up, oh, we soaked up the toxic spike. I should have went uh, Cinderace. Um... And here, I mean, here we could just Sludge Wave, I guess. So, I'll just do that. Sludge Wave. I'll probably go Jellison again. I mean, it's still resisted, but maybe we'll get a, uh, a poison. Do we get poison? No, we don't. And we're cursed bodied. So we gotta switch anyway. Okay, let's see. We'll go to Motorhead. And now we definitely low kick on the switch. Because he will probably go Tyranitar once again. I mean, even Excadrill takes a big hit against it. Or he's just gonna Dynamax. This game is getting spicy. Alright, does he Oko us here? Is the question. Max Geyser does not. Okay, so we do get a hit off before um, we go down. We don't have a switch in, sadly. So I'm just gonna go. I don't think Max Max Electric hit either. So I'm not gonna burn my Dynamax just yet. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. Ooh, that is a lot. Para? <laughs> One could hope. Okay, so Motorhead goes down now. Do I pull the trigger on Lycanroc now? Is the question. Um, I honestly don't see why not. So I'm going to do it. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're doing this. <sighs> I'm going to go max rock ball to get uh, my, my sand rush boost. If he goes Komo'o, we'll go uh, Psychic Fangs or Max Mindstorm. 
and that should knock it out. What does he do here? Because, I mean, there's webs on both sides of the field, so we're neutral speedy. But he's thinking. Okay, so we're going to get our sand up. We'll get our speed tier higher than everyone, even Scarf Pokemon. Unless he's a Scarf Sand Rush Excadrill, then we aren't. But hopefully he's not Scarf Excadrill for some reason. I mean, even if he is, I we live the Earthquake and I get a weakness policy boost. So even then that's not a bad that's not a bad thing. We we live any hit. Oh yeah. And then Kofagrigus being down really helped us out because that could have been something that could have walled us. And even burned us with Willow with. So Ooh. Got that thing out of the way without realizing it. Let's see what he decides to go with here. He goes straight to Komo. -O. We're gonna go Max Mindstorm, of course. I don't think he can kill us either. Our special defense is boosted because we're in sand. <clears throat> so even if he lives this hit and hits us with a special move, like a uh, forest sphere or something, that'd be actually fantastic. All right, so Kamo almost goes down, but not quite. How much does this next move do to us? <clears throat> okay, he's Barry, so he's defensive. Oh, he's Belly Drum. Alright, so we'll take it down now. He'll go down to Sand. So... Oh, he's Overcoat. Nice. Uh, we're still faster. I'm just going to go for the Max Knuckle to get the uh, attack boost. Oh, we're going to get the attack boost anyway. Oh, on Tyranitar! Why did he switch? Oh, no, that's not good for him. So Max Knuckle was going to take out Tyranitar, possibly. Oh, Focus Ash. All right, we are in prime position to set up. I mean, just win. There's nothing he has that can outspeed us at this point. <clears throat> Granted, we can't click Excel Rock because of the terrain. I'm just going to go close combat. We could go down, like I said, if he runs Scarf Excadrill. But, I mean, you think he would have sent that out first. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's hoping we close combat things and go down. Our defense goes down. I don't know. It's all speculation here. I'm just thinking uh, Lone Wolf Sweeps. We outspeed everything in sand. Uh, we should have two more turns. Um, we should be faster than Komo'o. There's no reason not to be. He's not speed boost. And there's webs. <clears throat> Does he have a priority move? I don't think so. I just close combat. Down it goes. What's next? What's next? Does he purposely take me to timer so I don't get the uh, three three point win? All right, no more sand. So if this is Scarf Excadrill, I go down here. I've already used close combat twice, but I'm not switching. Ooh, that could be a problem. Am I faster than Galvantula? I don't think I am.
I don't think I am. Did I run max speed? No, I'm 172. <clears throat> I'm not going to let this go down. I'm going to go to... I'm going to go to Needle King and just flamethrower twice. If Needle King goes down, he goes down. <clears throat> Energy ball, very fair play. We take that. Ooh, critical hit. So we didn't take it as good as I wanted to. We couldn't Excel Rock either, so he knew that. So now I just put flamethrower. Uh, Valvangela should go down. And Excadrill should go down as well, unless he's bulky. Which he could be. But then uh, Lycanroc comes in and knocks it out with close combat. So, he's just got to click a move now. We're stuck in flamethrower. Come on. Click a move. Click a move. Hopefully we take it down. This could go to timer. Oh, it's X. He's actually Scarf. <clears throat> okay, Cordova. The, the, the rusted wing. Here we go. And then I just click body press. I don't think it knocks it out, though. Damn it. We're going to have to go to timer. And I'm only going to get a 1-0 win. Unless body press can somehow kill. Nope. Click the move, click the move, click the move. Uh, no, he didn't. I'm sure he didn't click the move. But and it's not like he was trying. Uh, but GG, Matt. I got a timer win. It was a hell of a game. And whew, uh, that that makes us one step closer to making playoffs for sure. Uh, I believe if we win next week, we'll be in playoffs for sure. But you never know. I'm just going to try to win out. And GG, Matt. And hopefully we meet again. This was a good battle.